Hey, Leo people. So I got a message. I heard steal her man. And then basic bitch. Somebody feel like they stole your man. But all they stole was problems. <laughs> or somebody feel like you stole their man. And if they feel like you stole their man, then they said, Excuse me, he's mine. You made a head him once, but I got him all the time. She's a, at least he come home and I head ass woman. I don't feel like you're dealing with this drama, but it's not done dealing with you. This man won't leave you alone. You already let it be known that you're not in the business of sharing. But Roger won't go home. Then I heard, go home, Roger. He may not be visiting, but he's constantly communicating with the love bombing. Now the whole real mad and blaming you because her dog won't stay on the leash. You're not bothering him. He's bothering you. You gave him something to remember. <laughs> I don't know. It could have been, you know, I mean, I ain't going there, but it could have been something like a deep bond, something different or a magical connection. He going to have to do better than that, though. If he wants you as bad as he claims, he shouldn't have a problem working for it to prove it's real. And because you're not in the business of leashing. <laughs> like leashing. Like dog leashing. <laughs> That's a little bit funny. You ain't in the business of having no, no dog, no man dog that you got to put on the leash. So, as of now, you just good on that. But it's a bit of woman in the background. I swear that you trying to steal her man or you stole her man or she trying to steal a man from you. I don't know what the heck that is, but we just gonna get into it. God, universe, angels, spirit gods and ancestors, please give us some clear and precise messages for the Leo people on the energy of high vibration, high frequency and high White is the hard white light is welcome, spirit. No energy of lower vibrations, lower frequencies, and negativity is welcome here. And I ask that you rebuke it in the name of you, amen. What we got for the Leo people? I'm trying to speak louder because some people say they can't hear me. So let's see. I ain't gonna worry about the bottom because I'm gonna read the two cards you get. I'm gonna read them. Ugh. Dang. Caution, the Sith. This is what you got. Sith and Garden. Okay. So, Sith is caution, danger, warning, decision. The Sith portends the probability of an accident, crash, or serious injuries. Take this card as a warning. Be extremely cautious and hopefully avoid misfortune. Avoid risky behavior in yourself and in others. This card to the left, the card to the left of the sift is always the source of the danger. On the right is ways to avoid it. Well, look, I ain't gonna read this one, but I'm gonna put you one on, on the left so it's the sun. So you avoiding the sun. What? And avoiding this is the garden. In a people spread, it indicates indifferent, evil, and a calculating person. In a relationship, it, it indicates a sudden conflict and a serious threat to the partnership. The ability to cope with the crisis will require sacrifices and compromises. In a work spread, it warns of serious losses and dangerous connections. You will need to act circumstantial. What is that? Circumspectly to deal with the termination of transactions and reduce of revenues in a matters of well-being the sith indicates the need for surgery or a risk for injury damn does a motherfucker want to hurt you behind this motherfucker be careful out there so real quick though look that's what i said i ain't energy happiness luck a positive outcome health so somebody wants to put an end to your energy, happiness, luck, a positive outcome in, in your health. Uh, garden. It's society, holidays, activities, and illusions. The garden card refers to activities outside the house, social events, gatherings, festivities. 
It can indicate the media, public opinion, professionalism. It means getting pleasure from active rest or create uh, rec recreation. It can also indicate success in creative and social projects. In a negative aspect, it means unreasonable illusion, narcissism, and superficial relations. It suggests the need to be more realistic. To to the, the, the it suggests the need to more realistically evaluate yourself. In a people spread, it symbolizes those for whom social ties and connections are important. Emotional fulfillment is direct is directed outward. It can mean a man looking for companions, acquaintances, and for, or fun, and someone who is highly values reputation and prestige. In a relationship, it reveals a shallow relationship based on joint activity rather than the depth of feelings. In a workplace, the garden card means the expansion expansion of a business context and professional networks. This is an active period of creativity and celebration. In a well-being, the garden card recommends receptions, casual gatherings, and country outings where nature can be enjoyed. So. This person has a shallow relationship with the with the person that they they worried about you about. So you y'all got some type of deeper connection according to the meditation. And this person wants to savor you out, savor you all, sever, sever you all together. Because they feel like you offer something to a person that they can't. So they don't they don't that's that's weird. That's weird. But you don't even want to do this, what it seems like. Anyway, tell me about Sith. Why is this here for the Leos? So you could be dealing with a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But it looks to me that the man is emotionally unavailable. So if he's emotionally unavailable, then he's emotionally unavailable to you and everybody else. Okay? Six, yeah, see. Four of Cups. This is somebody not wanting to miss out on the opportunity. So this person could possibly not want to miss out on an opportunity with you. And this opposition bitch is mad at you. Look at a motherfucker trying to bark at you. And you just sitting there like, oh, it could be about a Scorpio. Okay? This could be a Leo man that's, that's in this situation. But Ten of Swords reverse something is done and over with. Because of, no, because of Six of Swords. I mean, Six of Pentacles. There was no reciprocation. It was no equal give and take. So you already realize that the person was emotionally unavailable here. Ten of Swords. Yeah, this is somebody that you are holding back from because you gave them love with the Queen of Cups. You are now holding back and moving the fuck away from them. You have walked away from them because you've seen them as a burden, so you cut them out your life. What can an emotional available person do with an unemotional available person? Nothing. So it's done with that. She's tripping for nothing. The Garden. Knight of Cups. No, oh, that's why she bothered her. Because their relationship is basic. And he still keeps trying to go back to you. She probably checking his communication. And she getting her feelings hurt. She feel like y'all bond that y'all share between y'all two is deeper than the one that her and him got. So he's constantly trying to bring love over to you. Which I said in the meditation that the motherfucker's constantly contacting you, love bombing you. But you're done with them. Again, could be a Scorpio. This is somebody you cut out. They're constantly love bombing you, not the other way around. So why she got attitude with you and not her dog? Yeah, she's seeing communication. She sees messages with the Page of Wands. See, look at that. Page of Wands is receiving a message and then with her eye right there. This bitch looking when he's sleeping his phone. And she see the messages that he done sent. Could be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But it makes her feel betrayed by this truth, by this well, from this emperor. She could easily just walk away, and if, since she's looking at the messages so clearly, then she can clearly see that you have walked away. Somebody could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a Capricorn with the Three of Pentacles. I could be this. This could be. This could be somebody like a. I don't know, with the Ten of Cups, this could be like a baby mama, a girlfriend, a, ba a wife. I don't think it's a wife because the Queen of Pentacles ain't here. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Yeah, he the one that got his phone checked. Could have been a Taurus. The Lovers. 
see, somebody's feeling threatened by the connection. So they got to go out their way to try to hold it up. But it's nothing to hold up because it's nothing even happening. Which is the weird shit. People are obsessed and delusional. Another message is for the Leo people. Vanity. Something outdated. Complacency. See, why this motherfucker worried about you, she need to be worried about why her, she in an outdated ass relationship being somewhere she don't belong. You decided this person is emotionally unavailable, so you're withdrawing from it. She keeps trying to chase off every woman that he deals with. Bitch, you need to get worried about him. Guilt. Guilt and completion. Yeah. She's confused, baby. She just needs to use a little wisdom. Maybe she got a soulmate. Why is guilt here? Grief. Oh, she could be dealing with some, some inner child trauma that she needs to fix. Trickery, discovery, passion, and creation. She got her own unhealed ass problems just like him. This is why they just, maybe they trauma bonding. She's trying to persevere. Perseverance, bitch. But you're sitting in grief and guilt. Hoping for a miracle. Like, are you delusional? Somebody needs to complete something. Somebody needs to grow up, heal, bittersweet. Yeah, because they're living in a facade. But this don't have shit to do with you. Somebody needs to grow their fucking self-worth so that they can get some balance in their in they life. Because chasing this man that ain't got no emotions to give, nobody ain't going to do shit for a fuck-ass soul. This could be a, some type of past life relationship that you had with a person. And in this current life, he dealing with somebody else. The seven of swords to the seven of cups. This is confusion. This is a purpose. This is like a, a deceitful illusion or deceitful confusion. Somebody's concerned that they're old and you're new. They can't. They feel like they're going to be put down as a burden and you're going to be picked up. But complacency says they're somewhere they don't belong in the first fucking place. So why they're worried is beyond me. Yeah, because they're dealing with a player who give what they want and leave. This person needs some inner, inner child healing. Look at that. They baby. They baby ass need to go heal up. That's what they need to, they need to do. Why they trying to persevere some shit that ain't worth the persevering? You trying to persevere a motherfucker who makes you feel abandoned and left out in the cold? Is you kidding me? Somebody who holds you up, but you're bothering with the Leo? That don't make no sense. But they over there portraying and lying like they happy. The whole time they bruise the fuck up. And this is what you know to be true. This is why you don't want to deal with this motherfucker. So instead of them trying to harass you and bother you all the time, they need to check and take some notes and see why you walked away and walk away too. The fuck is wrong with this person? bittersweet facade yeah because when the truth come to bite that ass and bite bite their ass in that ass then they ain't feeling so good somebody could be dealing with an aquarius and they keep going back keep trying to heal this relationship but seven of swords they're betraying herself they're betraying their intuition they're being weak somebody could be dealing with an aquarius masculine who just does what he want to do and she Yeah, but see, and then this could be a queen of pentacles competing with you. I mean, it could be a wife, could be a baby mama, but this is who's mad, who's bitter, who's trying to compete with the queen of, queen of wands. Something about the queen of pentacles. This queen of pentacles could be dealing with a Leo, and you feel like you're competing with somebody. But see, whatever she she just goes, she keeps she's discovering things, being made aware of shit that her heart is being broken behind. The truth at that. But she can't. She constantly trying to build, constantly trying to fix it, constantly trying to preserve shit, and constantly getting mad at you like you the problem. No, bitch, you're the problem. Go fix yourself. People are weird. Creation. Look at her constantly trying to create shit. When she need to be releasing. See? That's crazy. That's crazy. Service. 
Look at her being motherfucker a carpet to walk on. And still left in the dark in the mysterious place, not knowing what the fuck's about to take in place next. People laughing and talking about her dumb ass. And she thinking she got the key to the motherfucking streets. She thinking she recovering some shit. And she don't, mm, forgiveness. That's because you keep forgiving a motherfucker. That's because you keep letting a motherfucker walk all over you. Creation. Yes, that's the problem here. Creation is the problem. I don't know why we talking about other energy so much. Yes, competition. Keep trying to create when she need to follow her intuition to be single. Intuition. But now she keep trying to move towards a relationship that she needs to cut out. Release. Yes, there's the Queen of Pentacles again. She might be holding on to the wang, but she, the truth is she need to let that shit go. Because she's just being of service at this point. The fuck? How you being of service? Your intuition is telling you this shit is unstable, it's not solid, and you're just being of service. What the fuck is that? Trying to change it. Trying to weirdo shit. Trying to heal it. Trying to bring love. Trying to... Ugh. She trying to figure out what you got that she don't. Motherfuckers is talking about her. Talking about her. Same thing. Telling her, talking about how she need to cut off this relationship that she's building on. Because she keeps recovering and forgiving some shit that shouldn't be recovered or forgave. Deception. Mm. The devil. So this could be a Capricorn. But somebody keeps reconciling with somebody toxic who just gonna lie and cheat and do the same old shit. They're talking about how she need to learn her lesson and stand in her motherfucking power. Somebody needs some healing. That's what that's about. And what's the Leo doing, spirit? Isolated. Not bothered, not being bothered with none of this shit. Because you know your self-worth. And you growing. A bitch need to get like you is what it's looking like. The fuck you all person to worry about the Leo when baby you need to get like the Leo. Instinct. Yes. You got instincts, bitch. You using your intuition like this bitch you do. You got a perception and this is not what you perceive to be it. So what you're not going to do is keep doing the same old thing and then cry out victim. So you change your perspective, use your instinct, you're growing and you're in self-worth with your in isolation with your self-worth on a quest to abundance. What the fuck? I hold on. Understand you're not even dealing with this motherfucker that she bothered by. Why? Because you got self-worth. So you'd rather be isolated than have a motherfucker who gonna do what they want to do on you. This is what she need to learn. Take some notes. Shit. Yes, isolation. You working on balancing out something in your life. Starting something new. Getting something up and going for yourself. The fuck? Yes, you're working on being happy. Doing something that makes you happy and retreating from all the bullshit. You're not thinking about no King of Cups. Yes, he keeps trying to reach out. Yes, he keeps trying to talk. Yes, he keeps sending messages. Trying to be victorious, but you're just not dealing with it. Okay? You feel like it's confusion, and it traps you between the confusion and the dark space, and you're good, baby. Why? Because your self-worth is on 10. Yes. And a motherfucker already hurt you. How many times do they? They ain't getting that many more times. No. Bitch, you already made your choice to hurt me with a motherfucking bitch that's pressed by me. Get the fuck out of here. The fuck, bro? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you're growing. You're healing. You're sprouting from things that dis disappointed you in the past. And you have your guard up. You're using your intuition, your instinct. When it comes to the same King of Cups that she's bothered by. Or the King of Pentacles. Or the king, whatever King she's motherfucking bothered by. Right? You feel like you know you hold the, the cup. Right? But you don't want it. Because a motherfucker needs some love on theyself. They need to change their perspective and to work on this hurt-ass energy that they got before they come dealing with you or it can just be a ten of swords. You good. You're not about to be a victim and keep doing the same old shit. This bitch needs to take some notes from you. That's what she needs to do. Yes, you're not about to do the same old shit. So, yes, you love a motherfucker. Yes, you're not. You're concerned or having anxiety. Didn't want to move away. What you doing? What the fuck you got to do? Standing in your power because what you're not about to do is stand here looking dumb. Waiting on somebody to, oh, no, fuck that. You're, in, you're uninterested. 
you're uninterested in playing people's games. So she can't be mad at you because you got, that's why she really mad. Because you got the strength to leave a motherfucker alone and she don't. She, because you got the strength to go find your balance and this bitch just sit left out in the cold waiting on the motherfucker to come back. She really mad because you an empress and this bitch need to work on her healing. She need to he heal that little inner child of hers that keeps her coming back for more when a motherfucker ain't even giving her love but an ass to kiss. The fuck? Yeah. Perfection. That's what the fuck she needs to work on. Going perfecting her craft for her skill, her motherfucking self, so that she can grow and expand and stop worrying about the next motherfucking bitch. The fuck? Impartiality. Yeah, because this bitch don't even know who she is. She just rolled with the passion. And she needs some healing and some renewal. The fuck? Talk about Leo. Mm hmm. And you just growing impatient. You already accepted that this is what it is, and you're going impatient that a bitch is not accepting that you ain't dealing with this motherfucker. He dealing with you. You already enlightened. You're not about to keep doing the same dumb shit. So what does this bitch want? Hmm? Despondence. You just, you good. It ain't growing. You good off of it. Right? You discover what you discovered. You see motherfuckers as trickery, so you want to find a balance. You keeping your faith, you hoping on your own miracle. The fuck is wrong with this person? It's like she borderline is obsessed with you. About a man that you don't even want to deal with because you feel like he need healing. Yes, y'all might be in a twin flame, but what the fuck does that mean? And she's pressed. She pressed about a lot of things. She pressed because she don't got the strength, the courageous, and the willpower that you do. She's pressed because she feel like you got this man in a way that she can't. Like, everybody don't have everybody the same. You get in a relationship with the same person. It could be three different women that get in a relationship with the same man. And he's going to be different with each of them. Because just because you get a person one way don't mean the next whole will. So she might need to pick herself up, go on with her day, get a little healing along her motherfucking way. Because, baby, I don't know what to tell her. And I don't think you do either. This is just weird. This this is weird. The obsession is weird. I expect the masculine to be obsessed with you, but not his broad. I'm like, weird. It's giving bitch you ain't got nothing else to do with your life. But watch me. But be concerned about me. But be mad at me. But start trouble with me, bitch. But see your negative ass energy over here. I'm like, no, ho. I'm in isolation. I bother none of you bitches. Please respect it. The fuck? So, but that's what I got for you, Leo people. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Namaste.